Helen Marie Whitwer was born at Holy Cross Hospital in Salt Lake City, April 21, 1953, to Carl and Mabel Whitwer. Helen was the seventh of ten children. Helen describes her childhood as full of family, faith, humility, and happiness. She had all she needed. Helen graduated in 1971 from South High School in Salt Lake City. During that time, she had a few suitors, but young Helen had a dream to go to Hawaii before she got married. Yet two weeks before this beautiful trip, she met someone unexpected. Robert Cram Post. Oh, <coughs> crap, sorry, I need to, I went back a little bit too far. Give me just a second, I'm gonna fix it. <coughs> oh, no, not that picture, hang on, give me just a minute. There we go. Wait. Here it is, Buck Post. By the fall of 1974, they were engaged to be married and were sealed in the Salt Lake City Temple on February 21st of 1975. In 1976, their oldest was born, Anne. Followed four years later by Catherine, then they got busy. And they were busy because they had Kelly, Christy, and Melissa soon after. They had four children in four years. That's a lot of diapers. Soon after their oldest Anne was born, they discovered that she was deaf. Helen volunteered for the Utah School for the Deaf, and that led to her working for the Utah Parents Center, where she served as executive director for over 30 years. In 2018, Helen retired from her time. For those 30 years, Helen supported families and children with disabilities by championing them with the legislature and empowering them to live their best lives. She won numerous awards, all while having fun. Because she was outstanding in her field. <laughs> anyway, she got to travel a lot for her work, which means she got to travel with her favorite person. In all their travels, they even got the chance to return together to Hawaii. When asked to describe her life, Helen says, it's always an adventure. She is always becoming and can't wait to see how this face turns out. For Helen, God is in it. She feels so blessed in so many ways. Her faith and her testimony of the Savior Jesus Christ is precious to her. She is grateful for the people in her life. It wouldn't be anything without each one of them. She feels loved. This is important to her, to be loved in her imperfections and striving in life. Helen wants her posterity to know that life is ever balancing. Work and play, joy and tribulation, growth and sluggishness amid the complex path that is mortality while always moving forward. She hopes for growth, self-awareness, personal understanding of her posterity's divine nature, learning, loving, happiness, and joy for each of them every day of their lives. She wants them to know that she loves them deeply. And they love her. Happy and joyous 70th birthday to Helen Whitworth Post and many more to come. <laughs>